This online exhibition shows individual healings within a collective and contextualizes them for COVID times. The challenge is, how can an online portal feel like a vulnerable place, a place you might actually reflect and express yourself? This site uses a form with atypical CSS styling to create a journey bringing a user to entering a phrase. What do you want to carry forward from this time? A user adds metadata and their phrase is added to the database. In real interviews, all kinds of metadata is gathered from being with someone live. If a user adds name, location, job, and age, is that enough to place that person within their world? Work by psychologists Paul Ekman and Robert Plutchik shows that how we humans psychologically code emotion is complex. My first attempt to use just words to do this was in a word-based display at Zaz 10 TS Gallery in Times Square in December 2020. The next attempt, this site, leverages full stack technologies from object-oriented classes handled in Python to building a Postgres database. SQL Alchemy, Flask, and Jinja work with Python data structures to return information to the front-end languages of HTML and CSS. A Bootstrap CSS framework helps organize the browser info. The work was organized with two agile development style sprints. The first was devoted to developing the relational data model and the most ambitious part, which was designing a UI that would create an emotional impact. Then the data needed to be sorted. I used a natural language toolkit model to tokenize the phrases and give them emotional scores. We were sorted by region by calling Google Geocodes API, and the site returns up-to-date COVID death and vaccine statistics by querying APIs from the CDC. The next phase is to evoke emotion with a collection of data on the internet by taking phrases and pairing them with the intimacy of a human voice, creating a work online that is both visual and auditory. Thank you.